Doug came from very, very humble beginnings, and he had so many opportunities through Council Bluffs that that's why he was an advocate for so much and wanting to see the city grow. Year after year, accomplishment after accomplishment, professionally and philanthropically. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here. Doug Goodman built an incredible legacy in his hometown of Council Bluffs as a veteran of the banking and title industries and a staunch community advocate. He always really wanted you to know that you needed to treat people with respect and be able to um, oftentimes try, try to find a way to be of service to others. And I think that that translated in the way he approached his work. He was always trying to find ways that he could help people and be able to help them accomplish their goals. I think that that translated into some of his volunteer and just being a neighbor. He always was trying to find ways to be of service to others. The man was a volunteer extraordinaire. And Doug's philosophy was if you are on a board Board or you're a volunteer, be an active volunteer. Don't just do it in name. If you're going to be on a board, you need to get involved. And so he always was. Over the years, Doug amassed an incredible resume of community involvement that included dedicated service to the 712 Initiative, the Southwest Iowa Educational Foundation, and the Iowa Western Community College Board of Trustees. When we had issues to deal with, he was always very thoughtful in talking with me about, you know, what are the details and, uh, you know, what, what do we expect and, and what does the Board of Trustees need to do to contribute to the solution or the achievement of the goal. And uh, so he, he was very easy to work with. If you're around Doug and you saw the kind of person that he was and how he interacted with other people, you had to learn from that. That had to rub off on you a little bit. And I'm sure that, I know he had that impact on me, and I'm sure that he had that impact on a lot of other people as well. Doug is a guy who lived life large. He was a man of honor and integrity. He was a man of great ambition. He did not brag about himself or his accomplishments. I think that Doug would espouse the idea of community service, that you make your living here, you raise your family here, and you have to put something back into the pot so that the next generation can have the same benefits you did or better. The Council Bluffs community lost a true champion when Doug passed away last September at the age of 62. I hereby confer upon you your respective degree, diploma, or certificate. A huge believer in the power of education, even in death, he will continue to have an impact Oh, look. His family directed memorials to Iowa Western Community College for student scholarships and to Southwest Iowa Educational Foundation for the Doug Goodman Scholarship. He is going to have an impact over years to come on students' lives that will be able to go to college, you know, and have monies that they wouldn't have had because of him and only because of him through the contributions of the community. I think that my dad left quite a legacy in Council Bluffs. He always took great pride in being from here and choosing to stay here and trying to make it the very best place it could be. I think that there's so many lives that he had the chance to touch in a lot of different areas of his life. The most beautiful thing is you had people coming up saying, Doug gave me a loan on my first house, or Doug helped me do this through work. There was a wrestler that came up and said, um, you know, Doug gave me the inspiration and sat down and said, you can do this. You can stay at Iowa Western and you can succeed and you can be the wrestler you want to be. And there were people who owned businesses who came up and said, Doug, Doug did this for me. This is our opportunity to say thank you. I think he'd want to say, that if you live in a town and you believe in a town, you got to give back to a town. And he was all for doing it by staying in Council Bluffs, raising a family in Council Bluffs, and volunteering in Council Bluffs. And so his, you know, his message would be, you know, you, you know, give of your time and your talents to advance Council Bluffs. Congratulations to our 2019 Mercy Heritage Award winner. 
Doug Goodman for his dedication and commitment to business. I apologize in advance. As an educator, I would have my students and tell them that they needed to memorize their speech before they gave it. But under the circumstances, I will be reading it so that I can stay focused. As I was trying to channel my WWDS, what would Doug say, I realized that ironically for a man that could talk to anyone, and he did, teach in front of a large class at Buena Vista, or work a room going from person to person at a social event and acknowledge some tidbit of information he had remembered about that person, Doug did not enjoy talking to large groups. It scared him to death when he was asked to address the graduating class at Iowa Western. But in true Doug form, he conquered his fears and did an excellent job. I know Doug would say that he was honored to be in such esteemed company to be receiving this award with Tom, Warren, and Sister Claudia. However, this is not the first time Tom, Warren, and Doug were in the same group. They were also in the second class of the community members to participate in the Allegiant Earn Your Scrubs program in 2013. I know Doug so enjoyed this learning opportunity as he prided himself as a lifelong learner. He would probably also comment that he was humbled to be among the notable list of those honored in the field of business before him. Many of those names he admired and strove to emulate their characteristics. He would comment on how business and economic development was key to Council Bluffs moving forward. As you can see from his bio, he believed in education and knew that this was the way to achieve his goals. I think he would want to tell people to have the tenacity that he had. Working a 40 hour plus work week, then attending college at night all year long is not an easy way to get your degree, but he persevered and was proud to be an Iowa Western Reaver, a Buena Vista Beaver, and a Creighton Blue Jay. He would be amazed at the generous outpouring of the community at his passing that will help fund scholarships to students. One of his legacies will be to help promote education through these endowed scholarships. I think he would want to acknowledge the fact that he only was the business person he became because others were willing to teach and mentor him along the way. Since he started his career in the safety deposit box area of the bank, there's a long list of people who helped him achieve his career goals. These were people who saw the potential in this gregarious young AL graduate. I think he would tell his peers to be this kind of person to the young people today. Share your knowledge and share your time to see that they succeed because of you. In the 37 years we were married, there was never a day that he didn't enjoy going to work. I know it was because of the business partners and co-workers he had. He always felt he was so blessed to be surrounded by people that brought joy to everyday tasks, and he looked forward to seeing them on a daily basis. 
Above all, I know Doug would talk about volunteerism and giving back to your community. This was a way of life for him, and he received great joy from all of his involvement. He would tell you, when you join an organization, be an active part of it. Don't just be a member in name. The Council Bluffs community will benefit from your volunteering, and you will benefit from being more active as a member. He would want to thank everyone who helped make this event possible. The person or persons who nominated him, the Charitable Council for selecting him, Abby and Lisa and the chairs for all their hard work on the event, and all of you who came tonight instead of attending one of the other optional activities like the Justin Timberlake concert. <laughs> he would give thanks to those who have supported him personally and professionally, to his friends and family who have always been there to lend a helping hand or a listening ear. I personally think he would have credited his wife and daughter for being the real force behind his success. <laughs> but really, he would give this credit to his lunch buddy, Izzy. Doug was proud to be a lifelong citizen of Council Bluffs. He was so excited about the direction the city was taking and wanted to be part of that exciting future. Stacy and I would personally like to thank all of the people who have supported us in the last six months. We could not have gone through this tragic loss without your support. Again, thank you so much. I know Doug was also, I think, a member of the first Leadership Council Bluffs uh, class uh, you know, to graduate, and he was always uh, willing to come back and, and speak to the, uh, the current class uh, that was going through every year and just explain to them you know, how important it was to be, uh, to be active in the community. And I can, uh, I can certainly tell you that um, I know the community just uh, can't even express the loss. Uh, I know that uh, Deb and Stacy feel and uh, as a community as a whole. But uh, once again, let's just give another round of applause for Doug. Thank you. 